Drew and Sierra, I ask you now, in the presence of God and these people, to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who calls you not only into union with each other today, but more importantly, into union with Him. So the first time that I saw Drew, he was on the cross country team and he was running for practice um, and I was walking home from school and I, he didn't have a shirt on and I looked over and was like, hey, I like your shirt. And he just turned really red. Andrew Steven, for once in my life, I am at a loss for words. Not everyone is lucky enough to find their person in the world, but I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I found mine. He was a cute freshman boy running by me as I was walking home from school when I was 15 years old and he has stolen my heart ever since. As I take on this journey as your wife, I hope you know how much it means to me to change my daddy's last name to yours. I wish so badly he could be here on this day because I know he would find you worthy of my hand. You remind me of him in so many ways from picking on me any chance you get, making me laugh whenever you can, spoiling me and protecting me when I need it. He would be so proud to call you his son-in-law. I know it. Drew and Sierra, I can't tell you how much it means for me to be here with you today. Your families are incredibly special to me, mean the world to me. And it's just been especially a blessing to be able to witness your relationship from the start. Drew, I'll never forget, it's 2009, you and your family had just started coming to our church and we were hanging and, and I had been challenging the youth group to you know, live a Christ-centered life. And I remember it was a Friday night, we were at a football game and you had been dating this particular girl and we found each other in the crowd and we started to walk and talk I'll never forget you said, I want Jesus to be the forefront of my life and I, I don't feel right in this relationship so I need to break up. I need to be single and get my life straight with Christ. I don't need to be dating anybody and I need to get things right. And I remember thinking, man, this kid gets it. I love that. And you started to walk away and I just remember thinking, man, he is so sharp. This kid's going places. He's gonna stay single, get his life right with Christ. And just as I was thinking about thinking that thought he walked over and Sierra Crawford came over and they connected and started to walk in the distance and I thought yeah right single yeah <laughs> Drew you are as solid as they come uh, focused driven natural leader godly man great friend great son great brother I can go on and on I love about you that you plant yourself where you know you need to be and you stick there. Nothing moves you. I love that about you. And Cece, girl, I don't have the time to talk about how far you've come in your life in these short years. But girl, you amaze me. You and where you've come and what kind of woman you become fills my heart with so much joy. I can't explain it. And just like your mom, I know your dad is so proud of you today. Never forget that your relationship is a story. It's not just a story that you keep to yourselves in private, but it's a story that needs to be on display for all the world to see. And it's not just a story about you guys, but more importantly, it's a story about him. It's a story about what God can do in being like him and living like him can do in a relationship. And guys, that is a story that needs to be told today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Drew Buckner. Drew, you may kiss your bride.